let's have another activity entitled Amazing Doctor. Let us help Dr. Cruz to find the vaccine for the coronavirus by answering the division problem blocking on his way. So you are going to write your answer in the comment section. Okay, let's start. A virus black on his way. So to fight for this coronavirus, let us solve the given problem. 2 and 54 hundreds divided by 10. Is it 25 and 4 tenths or 254 thousandths? Type your answer in the comment section. So the answer is 254 thousands. Oh no! Another virus black on his way. To fight this, let us solve the given problem. 146 thousands divided by 100. Is it 146 or 14 and 6 tenths? Type your answer in the comment section. The answer is 14 and 6 tenths. Okay, let's move. Another virus black on his way. Help Dr. Cruz to fight for this virus by answering the division problem. 8 and 47 hundreds divided by 1 thousandths. Is it 847 ten thousandths or 8,470? Type your answer in the comment section. That's right! The answer is 8,470. Another virus black on his way. Let us help Dr. Cruz to fight for this virus by answering the division problem 57 and 24 hundreds divided by 100. Is it 5 and 724 thousands or 5,724 ten thousands? Type your answer in the comment section. The answer is 5,724 ten thousands. Let's move on. Another virus. Let us help Dr. Cruz to fight for the virus by answering the division problem 14 and 2 tenths divided by 1,000. Is it 1 and 42 hundreds or 142 ten thousands? Very good! The answer is 142 ten thousands. Thank you for helping Dr. Cruz to find the cure for the Corona virus. Let's have another activity. So you are going to put check in a comment section if the statement is true and cross if it is false. Number one, the quotient of 52 and 1400 divided by 1000 is 
5,214,000. Your timer starts now. The answer is cross. Why? Because the quotient of 52 and 1400 divided by 1,000 is 5,214,000 thousands. Number two, to divide decimal number by one tenth, one hundredths, and one thousandths, move the decimal point one place, two places, and three places to the right respectively. The answer is check. Next, to divide decimal number by 10, move the decimal point two places to the left. So the answer is cross. Why? Because we are going to move one place to the left if the divisor is 10, not two places. Let's have number 4. When 27 and 14 hundredths divided by 1 tenths, the quotient is 271 and 4 tenths. Type your answer in the comment section. The answer is a check. Last number. When 203 and 5 tenths divided by 1,000, move the decimal point of the dividend 3 places to the left. Type your answer in the comment section. The answer is a check. Let us analyze the given problem, then type your answer in the comment section. During Brigada, Punturin Elementary School was able to raise 4,695 pesos. The school decided to share it equally among 10 classrooms. How much will each classroom receive? So, using AGONSA, AGONSA stands for Ask, Given, Operation to be Used, Number, sentence, solution, and answer. So, type your answer in the comment section by knowing what is asked in the given problem. The answer is, the total amount of money will receive by each classroom. Very good! Next, we have the given. Identify the given in the problem. The answer is 4,695. This is the amount of money raised. And then we have 10 plus rooms. Next, how about the operation to be used? Type your answer in the comment section. Very good. The answer is division. How about the number sentence? So, 4,695 pesos divided by 10 is equal to N. Next, how about the solution? Since we have one zero in our divisor, we are going to move the decimal point in the dividend to the left one place. And then put the decimal point between 9 and 5. So, the answer is 469 and 500 thousands. So, we can also write 469 and 500 thousands by removing the last two trailing zeros. So, the answer is 469 and 5 tenths. So, the final answer will be 469.50 pesos is the amount of money will receive by each classroom. For our next activity, let us now complete the statements below 
by typing your answer in the comment section. The first statement is, to divide decimal number by one tenths, one hundredths, and one thousandths, move the decimal point blank place. Very good. We have one. Next is blank places. The answer will be two places and blank places. Three places to the right respectively how about the next statement to divide decimal number by 10 100 and 1000 move the decimal point type your answer in the comment section one place next is two places and three places to the left respectively. So, remember that in dividing decimal number by one-tenths, one-hundredths, and one-thousandths, move the decimal point one place, two places, and three places to the right respectively. And when dividing decimal number by ten, one hundred, and one-thousand, move the decimal point one place, two places, and three places to the left respectively. Let's have the last activity. Read the problem carefully, then type the letter of your answer in the comment section. Let's have number one. How many one thousands are there in 57 and 65 hundreds? Letter A, 5,765 hundred thousands. Letter B, 57 and 65 hundreds. Letter C, 576 and 5 tenths and letter D 57,650 Type your answer in the comment section The answer is letter D 57,650 How about number 2? In 539 and 5 tenths is divided by 100, gives what quotient? A. 539 and 5 tenths. B. 53 and 95 hundreds. C. 5 and 395 thousandths. Letter D. 5,395 ten thousandths. What is your answer? Type your answer in the comment section. The answer is letter C. 5 and 395 thousands. Number 3. What is the quotient when 27 and 165 thousands is divided by 1 tenth? A. 27,165 hundred thousands Letter B 2 and 7,165 ten thousands Letter C 271 and 65 hundreds Letter D 2,716 and 5 tenths Type your answer in the comment section is letter C 271 and 65 hundreds number 4 Miss Lila bought 100 reams of band paper worth 18,500 how much did each ream of band paper cost letter A 1 peso and 85 centavos letter B 18 pesos and 50 centavos Letter C, 185 pesos. Or letter D, 1,850 pesos. The answer is letter C, 185 pesos. Number 5. 
Chow and her nine friends sold some Pagita garlands with a total of 3,568 pesos and 75 centavos last Saturday. They shared equally their earnings for that day. By how much did each receive? Letter A, 35 pesos and 70 centavos. Letter B, 356 pesos and 90 centavos. Letter C, 3,568 pesos and 75 centavos. Or letter D, 35,687 pesos and 50 centavos. Type your answer in the comment section. So the answer is letter B, 356 pesos and 90 centavos.